So here we have 80, 54, 81. So same thing again. We are going to do a prime factorization of all the three numbers. So draw a vertical line and horizontal line like this. Okay. So first number is 18. It's a small number. So 2 nines are 18. Uh, remember you're doing a prime factorization so take only a prime number. So keep dividing this number with the prime numbers only. So 9 we got. So 3 threes are 9. And again 3 ones are 3. Next we have 54. 54 goes in 2 table. 2 is a prime number. So 2 twos are 4. 1 is left. So 14. So 2 sevens are 14. Now 27 goes in 3 table. 3 nines are 27. So 3 threes are 9. And last 3 ones are 3. And here we have 81. 81 goes in 3 table, doesn't go in 2 table. 3 27s are 81. And then 3 nines are 27. And 3 threes are 9. At last we have 3 ones are 3. Now let us rewrite them. So 18 can be written as Write down all those prime factors what we got. So 2 into 3 into 3. Now 54 can be written as all these factors. So 54 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. And 81 can be written as again all these factors. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now once we have done this, you should take a factor, prime factor, which is present in all the three. For example, here if you see, the 2 is present only in this 2, right? It is not present in the factors of 81. So you should not take the 2. Now I can take this 3. You can see this 3. Okay, let me circle it. If you see this one, this 3 is present like on all the 3, right? So this is forming a one uh, common factor, one set. Similarly for this 3 also I got another one. Now, if you observe this 3, this 3 can be paired up with this but it is not present in the 18 one, the factors of 18. It should present in all the 3, the prime factor should present in all the 3. Circle them, take it as a common. Now once you have done this, you should uh, take one one factor. So from here I'll take one 3. From here, I'll take 1, 3 and the multiply. So 3, 3 is a 9. So 9 is the HCF of 18, 54 and 81.